Pitch out to Smith. He's got the corner and the end zone. Touchdown. Over the middle. He's got his receiver, White. Makes a good move. He's going to go all the way at the five. Touchdown. On to return is Hummich. He's got Smith to beat. Can he get to the end zone? Touchdown. Going to the corner. Wrap up there. And he makes a catch. Touchdown. What a grab. We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings take on Green Bay Preble in homecoming 2006. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, not a very nice night for a homecoming game. <laughs> no, it's not. It seems like every time we come down here to South, the, the weather's kind of been not very pleasant. A couple weeks ago we had lightning, today we got a little bit of rain. Unfortunately, let's see if that rain uh, turns into turnovers and hopefully not for the Red Wings but more for the visiting Hornets. Last week, South won their first game of the year over Green Bay West, and uh, you had mentioned to me that night, I think, and when we were at North, if they win out the rest of the year, South is in the playoffs. I think this is a winnable game for South if they play football. Yes, it is definitely a winnable game, and something, you know, it's, it is kind of one of those must-wins because, as I said earlier in the year, this is a game at home. This is a game you have to win. Preble comes in, they basically lost all their players from a year ago. They were conference champs a year ago, 7-0, 9-1. I believe they lost 20 of 22 starters, so they are basically starting over this year. Uh, South comes in with a little more veteran uh, leadership, you know, senior guys up front. Uh, Taylor Schwartz, you know, being a quarterback and things like that. So you're, you've got a team here that South's got a little more veteran leadership, leadership. and Preble has won their first game, lost their last four, so they're on the downward trend where South is still scrambling to make the playoffs. One thing that defines a football team, I think, is your defense, and uh, South has struggled throughout the year on defense, although they did make a big stand at the end of the game against West, but uh, they're gonna have to do it again tonight. Yeah. South last week was up by a couple, I believe they were up by uh, 10 points. They took a safety, kicked away. Guy almost returned it to the end, got it inside the 10 yard line. And you're right, the South defense did step up. The South defense, had, you know, we talked about it way back when we did the opening show. Coach Hine did make some points that his team's gonna have to grow throughout the year. And there has been a lot of growing. They got their win last week, but again, you're gonna have to stop a kid from Preble at 169 yards last week on the ground. So stopping the run's gonna be key tonight. With the weather the way it is tonight, Chris, do you think the running game becomes more important? I'm saying, you know, Ray Smith? Yeah, I think Ray Smith is right. He's got four, I believe 486 yards this year. Again, we'd like to see him get more, you know, six yard gains, seven yard gains. I talked about a couple weeks ago. I want to see a lot of second and shorts tonight instead of those second and longs. And that's what just seems like the, the South offense has got themselves into. That and a lot of penalties and turnovers. And with the weather the way it is, you never know where the turnovers are going. But I think tonight's going to be a fast game. I think he's mentioned something last week that West, excuse me, Taylor Schwartz only threw nine passes in the whole ball game. With this weather the way it is, I don't think that's going to change much tonight. We're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the opening kickoff and the starting lineups for tonight's game. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is my voice. Building strong communities demands citizen participation and citizen voices. Support your city and county to protect your interests in local franchises with cable and phone companies. Build your community. Raise your voice. This is my voice. Don't take it away. United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. All over America, people are taking the national radon test. Have you? Answer true or false. Radon is a radioactive gas. False. True. It's true? It's a natural gas? The Office of the Surgeon General recommends all homes be tested for radon. Uh, false. False. True. true. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. False. It's true. Oh. That's totally a surprise. I've never would have thought of that. I don't even know where they're going to have it checked. 1-800-SOS-RADON. If I don't take care of it, nobody else will.
Does peace really have a chance within our lifetime? At Rotary, we believe it does. We've created programs at universities around the world, dedicated solely to teaching peace to a new generation. There's a new symbol for peace. Rotary. Back at South High School, let's go through the starting offensive unit for the uh, Red Wings. Starting at quarterback is 6'1", 170 pound senior, Taylor Schwartz. Uh, at a receiver, number 14, Travis Brunette is 5'11", 140, he's a junior. Matt Mertz, number 15, is another wide receiver. He goes six feet, 170, he's a senior. Ray Smith, 5'11", 205, he's a junior. He's a good one at running back. Number 62, David Valdez is 6'3", 210 pounds. He's a senior offensive lineman. Number 66, Ryan Lawrence is a 6'1", 230 pound senior. He's also in the line. 75, Eric Brunig is 6'5", 275 and a senior. Mike Reimer, Reimer, pardon me, number 76 is a 6'1", 240 pound senior. He'll be starting in the line. Tyler Courtright, number 78 is 6'1", 270 pounds. He's a senior. Number 82, Zach Duquette, 6'1", 200 pounds, he's a senior. He had a great game a couple weeks ago, Chris. And number 99, Andy Lancer, 6'4", 230 pounds. He's a senior, he'll be starting at the tight end spot. There you see the Red Wings coming to the sideline. We're getting ready to start tonight's game. Homecoming 2006, next week, Chris, we uh, get to go over to uh, North High for their homecoming. See if we can get a couple W's for Sheboygan. Yeah, we're a little behind this year. We need to pick up the pace. Well, I know you mentioned Green Bay Preble there, coached by Pat Prock now, 21 years. Yeah, we didn't mention him in the opening. He's a good coach, boy. You know, we talked. We were talking to Pete Barth when, before we came up about uh, adjusting to the talent, and uh, we, I think we all three of us agreed that uh, Dan Yedis probably does the best job of that, but. Uh, the Valley's got some great football coaches. Yes, they do, and they adjust. And there's Chris Hine, who's now the, the head coach for Sheboygan South. Dave Pfeiffer uh, resigned uh, a week ago Tuesday, I believe it was. And uh, Chris is now going to take over. And I believe uh, Chris Korf will be running the offense. Who would ever thought, you know, 15 years ago, a Plymouth and a Falls guy. <laughs> be here at South Eye, huh? And good friends. And working together. <laughs> and friends as well. So, uh We'll uh, see how that all pans out. Uh, Green Bay Preble's been the most successful program in the Valley since 2000 entering this year. They're 35 and seven, but of course this year they're just one and two. It's had a pretty nice program. I know uh, Preble, I believe it was three years ago, went to the final four. I don't um, remember that. Yeah, and last year, last year they, uh, it could have been four years ago, but uh, I was gonna say, but last year uh, they got bumped out, conference champs in the first round. Back deep for uh, the Red Wings is Brunette. Getting set to uh, kick off is uh, Noah Webb, number 28. Kick is deep. Taking it in the end zone was John Kabai, and they're going to whistle it dead. South will have it first and 10 at the 20. Well, 31 points for Sheboygan South last week. <laughs> Excuse me. I was gonna say that's uh, that's they <laughs> in that one game they uh, scored more points than they had in all the other games combined. Preble's only win this year is against Sheboygan North, 21 to 14. North was actually leading that game, 14 to 7 at halftime. Had a bunch of opportunities to beat Preble, but just could not punch it in the end zone. Spread offense, two wide receivers to the left and the right. Taylor wanted to hand it off to. Is running back Hoytink, but Hoytink slipped down, and Taylor was standing there holding the mail and uh, got hit right at the line of scrimmage. Be no gain. You know, you practice all week, you script the plays, you think about the plays, and all of a sudden, just like that, that first play just goes like that. Yeah, really. Can't even get an exchange off, and you know, not the way you want to start. When you think about it all week, oh, this is what we're going to do. We practice. Oh, this is our first play. I know what I'm going to run. And then second down. 
Hand off to Smith off tackle. He got a good block on the corner and gets it out over the 25 yard line. Nice run by Smith. As I said, Ray Smith comes in with 483 yards this year. About five yards of carry. But uh, we've seen him stuffed quite a bit, but there was a nice seven yard gainer there. It's gonna be third down and three. Big play right off the bat for uh, the Red Wings. Well, they're really spreading them out, Marty, you're right. Again, uh, wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right, Lancer in motion. Pitch out to Smith. Uh, Taylor Schwartz took a big hit, but got the pitch right into Smith's hands and he carries it out over the 30, close to the 33 for a first down. And a nice play there. Nice lead blocks out there by uh, Andy Lancer, the man who went in motion. The first and 10 for the Red Wings. I, I Ball think, spotted on the 33. I think, Marty, by them trying to spread it out, they're trying to you know, create more lanes and stuff for Smith to run in. That could be. Well, we got trips out here to the, left, to the right. Lone wide receiver off to the left. Little backward pass, better pick that up. They're gonna wheel, wheel, uh, rule it incomplete. Pass was to Duquette, that looked like it could have been a backward throw, Chris. Well, that looked like a great play call and we've seen them run that before, but uh, Zach's just gotta catch it. Zach uh, comes in with 25 catches this year, but uh, that wouldn't be number 26. I think uh, he saw some openings down the, down the field, but uh, forgot to bring the ball along. Yeah. Second down and 10. Mertz is wide to the right. Lancer in the slot goes in motion. And pitch out to uh, Smith, he cuts it back. He's got an opening, he's through the line of scrimmage. He's down to the 40, down to the 30. He's running away from that defender. He's gonna go all the way for the touchdown. Ray Smith, 67 yard run for a touchdown. Wow, what a cutback by Ray Smith. And how about South exploding and getting a big play early here on Preble. What a run by Ray Smith. Great blocking here. You'll see it. Taylor Schwartz got popped again, but great blocking up front there. David Valdez just cleared a huge hole, number 62, and Smith, you're not going to get him. Eisner's extra point is no good. With 9.54 remaining in the first quarter, South on top, six to nothing. They're on Preble. Coach Jimmy Renzelman in charge of the uh, special teams there. Sends the horses out with their instructions. I think Alex Eisner slipped or something on that play or because she never had a chance at it. We haven't seen Alex much this year. She's got a field goal this year. Uh, I think it was just over 30 yards. She can boot him. Well, there's just not a lot of opportunities this year with the uh, well. scoring as it's been. Offense has been on vacation for a while. Well, that's 38 points in a game in two minutes. So. Matt Hendricks is gonna be uh, kicking off. Oh, not Tony Hoytank. Nope. Matt boots it. Good kick taken on the 13-yard uh, line. I'll tell you, that uh, return person is uh, Brian Slusarek. He's quick. Well, let's see how the defense responds here. You'll see it. He is quick, Marty. Whoop. And uh, Hendricks making the tackle. Way to go, Matt. Ball spotted on the 36 yard line. First and 10. Aaron Radloff, correct, Marty? Yep, Aaron Radloff, number 10, is at uh, quarterback, and they got a full house backfield. That's pretty much what they run here. Double tights, normally. Second back through. 
Number 27, Garrett Maidenwald on the carry. There you see the rain in the background there. It's just enough to be a little bothersome. It's not a pouring rain and you could sit in it. And uh, it's enough just to... But we'll stay up here in the press box, <laughs> dry. That's correct. And comfortable out of the elements. Maidenwald hit at the line of scrimmage and dropped a great hit made by Steve Bakhti. Take that, Steve. loss of yardage. Steve Bakhti, Anthony Hoytink, two of the better linebackers in the whole league, I think. Those two guys aren't all conference. Uh, I don't know who are. Third down and eight. Ball spotted on about the 38 yard line. Split wide to the left is uh, Noah Webb, number 28. He's paired up against uh, Reuter. Hit the short man, he gets away from the first tackler and drags tacklers all the way into South High territory near the 45 yard line. Well, they had the right defense here, you'll see the replay. Danny Teicher yeah, just on the reception. He's a big kid. Yeah, Colin Johnson just couldn't trip him up and a uh, good run there for sure for Teicher. Every time we get the Preble lineup, there's always a lot of names that are tough to pronounce, Marty. <laughs> yeah, really. Vanden Heuvel. 16 yard gain. Crossbuck handed off to the second back, Chris Lauks. He gets it down. Just a touch inside the 45. Give him a gain of two. There you see Coach Korf dressing the offense. Radloff has him set. Pitch out to Maidenwald. He's got the corner. He's going to be close to a first down near the 35 yard line. Well, went to the long field there, Marty, and used his speed on the outside. And uh, South, as you can see, just trailing behind. You see Hoytink and Johnson knocking him out of bounds. Ball is spotted. A big gain. Ball is spotted right on the 35. Chris Ells, a pickup of nine yards and a first down. First and 10. Preble on the move. First back through. Stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Maybe picked up a yard. Not much going inside. Jared Simon, I believe it was, on the carry. Both teams basically in a must win. Four wins will get you in the playoffs and conference. Each team comes in at one and two. Fake to the first back, slant pass is way over the head of the intended receiver, Derek Van Boxel. I like that play, Marty. That yeah. should have worked, but I'll tell you what, Redloft did not even look at his target. He just flung to an area. Never gave Van Boxel a chance. Well, another big third down play for the Hornets. You see big number 55 for South. And Al Dambor. Yeah, Al, big Al Dambor. Well, we know these official. We're going to have to be careful while ripping them tonight. Radloff straight back, looking over the middle. He's got receivers in, intercepted. Anthony Hoytink making the catch, and South is back in business. There, have it on the 40. There you see it. Hoytink, oh, good catch by Anthony. He was right on top of the play. It's like a uh, liner back to the mound. Hoytink snags it. Yeah, he's used to that. First and 10 South. Taylor Shorts heading out there. He's 41 now of 82 this year in passing, 443 yards. Is that 50%? 41 of 82.
two? That would be correct. <laughs> like me. Gotcha. I was going, well, here's four, four, three, and he's <laughs> two touchdowns, two interceptions. Fake to, fake to uh, Ray Smith, but uh, I'll tell you, right in on the play for Preble was Tony Apps. Yeah, he turned around, did not go for the ball fake there, and Apps had a clear shot on uh, Taylor, and fortunately, excuse me, fortunately, the ball just fell harmlessly to the ground. Second down and 10, ball on the 40 yard line. Again, the spread offense, we have two wide receivers on each side. Hand off inside to Smith. He's hit right at the line of scrimmage. He picks up maybe a yard. Make it Hoytink. Uh, make it Hoytink, you're right. I just don't want your numbers to mess up at the end of the night, I know. Really, they're gonna be messed up enough the way it is. Third down and we'll call it nine. I think barely got a yard on that play. Comes number 99, Andy Lanza. I like when Andy gets involved on the offense. David Valdez playing center. Taylor Schwartz over him. Fake hand off to Smith. Taylor almost dropped. He fires a pass down the middle. There would have been a case, Chris, you know, he threw in the double coverage to maybe just keep it and take off. Yep. Intended receiver was uh, Travis Brunette. Well, once again, they sent an outside blitzer or inside blitzer or somebody coming from some place. And right now the Red Wings aren't picking up those uh, blitzes, but as you can see, a nice job of alluing that there. And Taylor kind of threw into an area that was quite dangerous. You're right, Marty. We're gonna have a punt here by Hoytink. Good snap. Snap was made by uh, Brent Jacobs. Fumble. North is going to get on. Oh, pardon me. South is on it inside the 30-yard line. Picking it up was Kyle Reuter. How about all the breaks now falling? Got to like it. Told you the rain might play a part, and it did. Fair catch. Hey, you know what? Is that Reuter or Johnson? Six or eight. Oh, Not that eight. was number six. James Good. Okay, South has it. First down, 10. Ball is on the 41. That ain't right. 28. Uh-oh. Fumble or not. Ray Smith had it. He still has it. South still has it. Oh, oh, oh. That was close. I think he kind of got it ripped off and is going towards the side there and it kind of stuck in the Preble side and I think he took it right back. Just and he picked up three yards on the play. We'll just remember that. It was just a three yard gain. Forget really? about the possible turnover. Ball is on the 25 yard line. Second back through is Smith. He's met right at the point of attack. Making a nice stick at the line of scrimmage was J.P. Suzuki. Couldn't wait to say that name, Chris. Normally we don't mention those defenders from the <laughs> other team, but you got that name, we gotta get it in there. Ball is spotted on the 23 yard line. Give uh, Smith a gain of two on the play. I think we're in two down territory here, Marty. Oh yeah, we're gonna go all the way. Smith in motion. Taylor fakes to the first back, keeps it. He's down inside the 10 yard line. First and 10, so, or pardon me, first and goal south. Nice play. Taylor stuck it into Whiting's tummy and then pulled it out and followed him through for the first down. Good play call is right. Now we're inside the 10. Here you'll see the fake and just see follows Hoytink. You got some good blocking up there. Yep. Ball is on the eight yard line. That's a 15 yard pickup. Tyler Courtright kicking them out there. Hoytink hit right at the line of scrimmage. Oh no. Taylor Schwartz keeping it again, gets it inside the five. Boy, he had me fooled. Just selling that fake there and taking it himself. Let Taylor use his legs a little bit. 
Ball spotted on the three yard line. That's a five yard pickup. Second and goal. Smith the deep back. Hand off to Smith, he's met at the line of scrimmage. He's push, battling push. forward and gets it down near the one yard line. Push, push, Great push. effort. <laughs> push him over the line there, Marty. Third down. Ball is at the one yard line. Pick up a two that time by Ray Smith. Third and goal, ball on the one. Split backfield this time. Smith on the left, Hoytink on the right. Two wide receivers off to the left. Stretch play to Smith, he's got a big opening. Great blocking, he takes it right in. Lancer out there on the block. And South has another touchdown. And Chris is saying there's a flag on the field in the end zone. This is gonna be a penalty, I believe, on South High, a holding call. Oh, yes, it is. It wasn't necessary. Story of the oh, season boy. for the Red Wings at home. Every time they're close, something like this happens. You don't even, you didn't need to hold. And it, just kind of what we've seen all year. You see the official signaling, holding on South. Ball is backed out, back to outside the 10 yard line. We'll call it the 11, so it's third down and goal. Ball on the 11, we have uh, two wide receivers left and right. Smith alone set back, Taylor straight back. Now he pulls it down, trying to get away, but can't. He's gonna be dropped inside the 10 yard line. Well, that time I thought he made a good decision, Chris. He just wasn't able to slip that defender. It's gonna be fourth and goal. Ball is spotted at the nine yard line. Alex Eisner in the game. Kabai on the hold, kick is up and good. Nice kick. Alex Eisner with the field goal with 2.17 remaining in the first quarter. South on top, nine to nothing. You own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. Hendricks. Hendricks kicking off again. Ball is taken at the 13 yard line by Sluzeric. He bounces to the outside and then he's hit and dropped right at the 30 yard line. It's gonna be first and 10 Preble. But South on top, nine to nothing, Chris. Well, I saw Coach Hine talk to Alex Eisner as North was, or excuse me, as South was driving down, and right before Ray Smith got that touchdown, you know, kind of giving her, you're gonna kick the next one, it's gonna be good, kind of giving her some, as it turned out, you know, they had the penalty, brought her back, you know, brought it back, and she had to come in and kick a field goal, and she knocked it home in this tough weather, and to give uh, South that nine nothing lead. First and 10 at the 31, Radloff hands it off inside, Maidenwald, uh, not much on that carry. Salt bottling him up inside. Gets it out to about the 33-yard uh, line. Pick up a three, two or three. Well, I thought Preble ran the ball pretty well that first drive. They went to the pass, they missed that slant, and of course, Anthony Hoytink with the interception. But uh, see if uh, 
the southeast stop, shuts down that run because that's going to be key. I said at the beginning of the night, that's what you're going to have to do, shut it down. Fake to the first back. Radloff kept it, and uh, he didn't get much, Chris. Maybe, maybe a yard or two. They're going to spot it right on the 35-yard line. UGL wow, ugly. That was an ugly play. Yeah, really. And a whole bunch of red shirts right there swarming in on that tackle. Timeout on the field. Timeout south with one minute left. South on top, nine to nothing. dig up our streets and use our public property yet don't want to pay. Congress is considering legislation that would give phone companies control of our public property. Call Congress now to stop legislation that will eliminate local control. What is he doing? All right, coming out of a timeout by South, it's going to be third down and six. Maidenwall, the deep back, we have a tight formation this time by Preble. We haven't seen that yet tonight. I think that ball was dropped in the backfield, Chris. I think Radloff fell on it, but uh, they're not gonna get the first down. No, South got it. Another turnover by the Preble Hornets. It's gonna be first and 10 South at the 32 yard line, I believe it is, Chris, but uh, man, life. Preble cannot hang on to the ball. You called it actually in the opening. You said, you know. Well, you saw a lot of red shirts pointing the other way, but you know, kids just started pointing. I waited for the official to say anything, but a big break for South. And my gosh, this quarter's been all South, taking advantage of all the situations as Preble's handed to him. There's that play we had before. This time Duquette makes the catch, and he's dragged down inside the 30 yard line, a pickup of about four yards. Good blocks out there by uh, Matt Mertz, Andy Lancer. Ball spotted on the 29, that's a pickup of four yards. Zach Duquette on the catch. That was the play they tried to make goal earlier in the quarter. And uh, Zach dropped it. Smith the lone setback. Hand off inside, no Hoytink was a lone setback. They faked the Hoytink. Taylor kept it and got it down to about the 25 yard line. Tell you what, Taylor's making a lot of hay on the, on the ground. And that's the end of the quarter. At the end of one quarter of play here at uh, South High School, the Red Wings lead it over the Preble Hornets, nine to nothing. This is my voice. Building strong communities demands citizen participation and citizen voices. Support your city and county to protect your interests in local franchises with cable and phone companies. Build your community. Raise your voice. This is my voice. Don't take it away. United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Back at South High School, ooh, it's raining out there. Third Brian, down and two. Brian's working on his environment stuff. Blasting up the middle for the first down was 
Ray Smith. Getting a little of the grass out of the uh, helmet of Ray Smith. First and 10 for the Red Wings. Ball spotted right at the 20 yard line, a pickup of five yards that time by Smith. Smith had 88 yards in that first quarter, Chris. Second back through is Smith, he slips one tackler, he's down inside the 10 and wrestled down about at the seven yard line. A great run by Ray Smith. Confidence, confidence, confidence. Had a great first quarter, he's gonna carry that over here into the second quarter. Well, they're gonna spot it at the nine yard line, give him a pickup of 11 yards, and it's first and goal for the Red Wings. Hoytink the up back, Smith the deep back. Wide receivers left and right are Brunette and Duquette. Lancer the tight end on the right side. Hand off to Smith, he's up the middle, and he's gonna be dropped inside the five yard line, but again, another nice run and good blocking up front, I'll tell you. Brunig and Courtright and uh, those uh, Valdez, those guys in the middle are doing a heck of a job. I liked how he slipped through there too with those feet there. Kept them moving, shifting back and forth. A lot of pep in the feet and the uh, Red Wings as they come up to the line there. Second down and goal at the four yard line. Duquette in motion. Smith gets hit inside the five yard line and driven back. A pretty good defensive stand that time by the Hornets. They've been getting chewed on pretty good on this drive, but not on that play. Third and goal. Well, Chris, you go for the touchdown if you don't quite make it? Or do you kick the field goal? Only one yard on that play. I'll Always wait. on the three. I'll wait till the next play. <laughs> <laughs> See how close they get. Yeah. Chris Hine contemplating those thoughts right now himself. Good shot there by Brian. Second back through Smith. Barrels into the end zone. Touchdown. Oh boy. Good blocking up front. One of the blocks thrown out there was number 62, David Valdez. Fifteen to nothing. We're at nine fifty-nine until half. Eisner's kick is and good. That makes it sixteen to nothing. Just under ten minutes left. Well, the offense looks good so far tonight, Chris. Nick Wilson back in uniform, number 19. Tell you what, Preble has given you opportunities. You have to seize those opportunities, and South is doing it. Three turnovers, here's the extra point by Eisner. Three turnovers, you took advantage of the scores. You got, I mean, those opportunities to score, and you banged it home to give yourself a chance to lead now 16 to nothing. And a very impressive start by Sheboygan South. You know, at the beginning of the, when we did the coaches show and we were looking at the schedule, you know, we were talking about games that, you know, they should win. This was one of them. But when you look at the start they had, you know, all of a sudden you start to have some second thoughts. Well, they're putting those second thoughts to rest with this kind of a start. Right. Hendricks getting ready to kick off. So Zarek, uh, not able to pick it up was Maidenwald, and that goes into the end zone for a touchback. Ball rolled two yards too far, Marty. Yeah, otherwise, otherwise South has it again. Be first and ten for Preble at the twenty. They had a good shot of Matt Hendricks coming off the field. He's kicking the ball hard tonight. And number 34, the long snapper, Brent Jacobs. I saw some smiling faces over in that offense. Oh yeah. Of huddle. 
Second back through and leaning forward for a couple of extra yards was DeAndre Hughes. Now Hughes is a new kid, Chris. They just brought him up from the JV team this week. That was his first uh, varsity carry. Well, let me tell you something, Marty. Preble does not look sharp. Again, that misdirection play, but it was not delivered with any authority of fakes and South stayed home. Preble does not look crisp at all right now. Second down and about eight yards to go. Ball spotted on the 22. You have two wide receivers off to the right. The wider of the two is Tony Apps, 88. Quick uh, backward pass and Apps uh, took a beating, nailed by three Red Wings. <laughs> Chris likes that. Well, I'm just kind of like, he catches the ball <laughs> and you're right, Marty. There was a Nothing over there but red shirts. The kid never you had know, a you know what those You know what those South defenders were saying? Please catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Please catch that ball. I just, uh, yeah, I got a big grin on there. You're right, I felt bad for that kid. But no, you didn't. <laughs> South, but that's okay. South, South had that red pretty well. And they just closed. Third down and seven. Now the wide receivers go to the other side. They don't want to mess with the defenders on this side. <laughs> Rattle off straight back, looking, fires over the middle, almost intercepted. Making a great drop, but not able to make the catch was Steve Bakhti. Ooh, wow. he'd like to have that one back. Yeah, and another poor pass by Radloff. I thought it was a great pass. <laughs> it was just to the wrong guy. <laughs> I don't know what he's looking at there. Trying to web those in there. Coach Procknow has got to be shaking his head. Noah Webb back to punt and uh, Ray Smith stationed at the 44 yard line waiting the kick of Webb. Good snap, good protection. He dropped the ball. Now he's gonna run. He's not gonna get the first down. Talk about, oh man alive. Lucas Bannock in on the tackle, smothered him. Also Adonis Stewart looked to be in there. Wow, we could it get any worse for Preble? I mean, what's another mistake they could make? Ball spotted on the 24 yard line. Hoytink, the lone setback, we have uh, Two wide receivers to the left and the right. Taylor Schwartz barking the signals, fakes the handoff, pulls it out. Now he keeps it, tries to run it up and inside, gets it down to about the 21 yard line. Not much of a gain. Yeah, I think Tony slipped or something in the backfield because he's waiting for the fake and he, Tony never got there. And, you know, it's, it is wet out there and slippery. And, you know, that time things just didn't work out too right, but... Uh, do you know who the greatest runner ever on a muddy field was? Yes, I do. I'm waiting. Gail Sayers. You got it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he was the best. The Co Kansas Comet or the yep. Kansas flag. Galloping Gale carries the mail. Fake. Taylor has it on the keeper. He's around the corner. Gets it down near the 10-yard line. Good run by Taylor Schwartz. Faked it inside to uh, Hoytink and kept it and uh, was able to get the corner. See what a difference makes when they're Ooh, good running blocking. back and go through there and good clear out blocks is right. Ray Smith. You know what happened. I've, if we can ever run that one again, you'll watch the defensive end. He takes himself right out of the play. It's like he's running away from the two guys that want to <laughs> block him. Yeah, Ray Smith leading that block too. Good job, Ray. First and goal. Ball spotted on the nine yard line. That was a 13 yard pickup by Taylor. See if they come the long way. Ray Smith pounding up the middle, gets it inside the five, he gets an extra push. And there's a fumble at the end. Are they gonna rule it down or not? No. Oh. Yeah, Preble got it. Ray Smith was hit at about the four yard line and then fumbled it. And Preble recovered it in the end zone. So give Smith a pickup of five yards and then a fumble lost. All on the second effort there. The uh, Preble guy came in late. 
Abst delivered that late blow on Smith. Oh, but they're gonna not put it in the end zone, they're gonna put it on the one. Oops. Oh. <laughs> How could that be? Oh my. Wow. Well, let's get a safety. Maiden Wald on the carry gets it out near the four or five yard line. I think he's gonna be short of the five. But he does get it a little further than the one. Maidenwald, uh, I'm gonna ball on the three, only a pick up a two on that, Chris. Second down and eight. Sweep, Maidenwald, ooh, stung down hard by Steve Bakhti. Bakhti having some fun out there tonight. Yeah, he's having a good game, you're right, Marty. Number 20, watch him, and 28. Good job, though, again, on the pursuit of that sweep. Looked like he was gonna gain more yardage, but again, South was right there to gobble him up. Playing with a lot of uh, fire tonight, that red defense. Radloff pitches it back to Maidenwald, eludes one tackler, gets it up over the 10 yard line, but I think he's gonna be short of the first down. Yeah, they're giving it to him, Marty. You know, I didn't like that call by Preble. They were they toss it back four yards, and then you expect him to run uh, six or seven. Thought South was going to get him there, but uh, just enough for the first down, maybe by a half a yard. Ball spotted on the 12-yard line. Pick up a four. Wide receiver in motion, second back through is uh, Maidenwald and he's hit and dropped at about the 14, a short gain. Zelko right there on the play, good close by Jeff Zelko, number 42. 178 pound junior. Pickup of a yard or so, it's gonna be second down and long. Pick up a two yards, second down and eight. Boy, at the rate Preble's going here, they're never gonna get down the field. <laughs> no. 4.45 left until halftime. South on top, 16 to nothing. Pitch back to Maidenwald again. He spins around, avoids one tackler, but then uh, there's three more South guys to get him. He got it up over the 15, though. Well, they started this drive, Mario, at 7.04, and of course they did start on the one yard line, but uh, Tell you what, South is making it extremely difficult for the Hornets to pick up big chunks of yards. Another third down play for the Hornets. They've uh, made it two of the times. Radloff, Maidenwald is the deep back. Radloff straight back, heavy rush, he's gonna be dry, he drops the ball. South has it on about the one yard line, I believe. Well, that's where they, uh, Started the drive, Marty. <laughs> That's where they're gonna punt from. Oh, he didn't. I thought he lost the ball, Chris. So did I. They must have ruled him down. It's gonna be a sack. Ball is way back on the one yard line. You're right. Ooh, loss of 15. Whoa, yeah, right at, great shot, Brian. Steve Reiner uh, running the top camera, giving uh, Fritz Zank a little bit of a break. Fritz uh, also doing that top camera. He's got Miloff in the truck spinning the dials. And Ray Smith back at the 40 awaiting the punt. Ooh, good blocking up front. Kick is away, not very deep. Smith picks it up at about the 38. He's got room on the outside, runs over a tackler and is dropped inside the 30 yard line. Well, Noah Webb for uh, Preble is out here, and I'm like, this guy's not gonna get him, but he got him. I thought Ray was gonna elude that guy. But you're right, good field position for uh, Preble. The defense the south, or excuse me, south. They're holding up strong on that defense. They sent the house on that blitz there. And another chance for Pre uh, south to, to bang one in here before halftime. You got 3.02 left. Seems like the, the uh, whole 
game has been played in the, you know, south offensive end here. Hoytink the up back, Smith the deep back. Taylor fakes the handoff, keeps it, trying to battle forward, keep that ball tucked in. Oh, it seemed like he let it hang out there for a little bit. Yep. I want those trouble defenders to punch it out of your hand. Got the ball inside the 25, we'll call it the 24, a pickup of four yards for uh, Taylor Schwartz. Having a nice night. In this quarter, Taylor has uh, 19 yards and three carries. Second and six. Dropping straight back, looking, firing over the middle. It's intercepted. Uh-oh. Oh, slipping right through two tacklers and running to the house is J.P. Suzuki. He might make it. Being traced by Courtright, and he can't get him. Touchdown on a long interception return by J.P. Suzuki. Eric Brunig making the great effort to try and catch him. Number 75. Oh, boy. Just what you didn't want to happen is a turnover like that. There you see it. Here's the return. Watch him. Whoop, right right through to a, uh, looks like would-be tacklers. There you see Brunig, 75, making a great effort. That is uh, really outstanding, Chris. Yeah. Chase him all the way down. Couldn't quite get him. Well, this is a little shocking here, Marty. Preble is down by 10 point. I would probably be going for two right here. Whoop. Oh, boy. Extra point attempt is uh, woefully short. There's a bit of a goof up there. Attempting the uh, extra point was Noah Webb. Uh, was that about a 79-yard punt return? Interception return. Interception yep. return, I mean. With uh, 2.03 remaining until halftime, South on top 16 to six. Uh, I think your idea for uh, the two point conversion, I don't think it was good actually, because there's a lot of game left. I mean, you know, it's got a whole second half. Well, my theory on this is you're playing on the road, you need some momentum, stick your offense right out there and try to get two points here. You're down by 10 anyways, a touchdown and a field goal um, in high school. Stopping the two point is, uh, is a little more difficult in the pros in college. I would have gone for two on the road, pull within the touchdown here, get some mojo back here. Two minutes left. Now you still got to score, you know, twice. Mojo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Taylor's first uh, pass attempt of the quarter is an INT for a TD. Ouch. Kabai, the backup quarterback, is deep along with uh, Travis Brunette. Taken by Kabai at about the 15. Boom, he's right through the lair. He's up near the 50 at about the 46 or 47 yard line. Kabai with a great burst of speed. I thought for a minute he might just go. Yeah, you and me both. All of a sudden, boom, he was right through that front line. Thought he's gonna get those six right back. Well, you got a oh, minute 57. My yard line's goofed up, Chris. It's only the 43. Thought he's a lot further than that. Got a uh, minute 57, he had two timeouts left. See if he can answer that score. Been moving the ball well. You know that pass that was intercepted and returned back was intended for uh, Nick Wilson, number 19. Yep. Three wide receivers off to the left. Hand off to Ray Smith on a stretch play. He's got the corner trying to cut it back and is tackled at about the 49 yard line. And number 19, that's Nick Wilson clearing out the way for Smith. Pick up a seven yards on the play. There you see some dry people we hope. Under a minute and a half. 123 and counting. Taylor flipped back to uh, Duquette. He's got it. 
Picks up a good block. He's got the first down near the Preble 45 yard line. Unfortunately, there's gonna be another holding penalty. Gosh. And the same person who had the holding penalty before. Nick Wilson had the initial kick out block, which did the job, but unfortunately for South, the second guy got the hold and uh, what turned out to be a Red Wing first down, it's gonna be a second and about 16 maybe. You know, it might be in the best interest of the Red Wings now to just run down the clock if they could. Well, it's second and 11. There you see the clock and Coach Hine there. Him and Chris Korfar, the minds are working. Second and 11, ball on about the 42 yard line. Brunette wide to the left, Duquette in the slot. Hand off to Smith up the middle, bobbing and weaving, and it's gonna get dropped at about the 48 yard line. Let's see if Preble calls timeout, Marty. Are they gonna just let this pickle run down here? If I was probably, I would have called timeout. Third down, ball spotted on the 48. Make it a pickup of five for Ray Smith. He's up over 100 yards, Chris. Smith the deep back, Taylor dropping straight back, looking. Firing deep and out of bounds. And he's hit and dropped after the pass, but no penalty flag. And that'll make it fourth down with uh, eight seconds remaining. That's why I would have called timeout. Because <laughs> now you either return it or the half will end if you're a Green Bay Preble. Timeout South, gonna make sure they got all their ducks in a row before they uh, make this punt to uh, end the half. Next week, TV8 will be at uh, Sheboygan North for their homecoming game against Green Bay West. Tonight, uh, North is up in Green Bay playing East. East. It'll be a tough game for the Raiders, but uh, they had a nice game last week, Chris. A lot of joy in Mudville on the north side. <laughs> there was a And it wasn't even raining. <laughs> no, it was a it's very fun game to call and a very fun game to observe and watching the student section and the players and everybody's reaction. It was just, just a hoot. It was even a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, here we go. Hoy Tink back. Maidenwald is the uh, receiver. Oh, they fake it. Snap it right to, uh, boom. Snap it right to uh, Jamin Opgenorth and he runs for the first down. It's gonna be first and 10. South, ball at the 44 yard line. Wow. That's a pickup of six yards for Opgenorth. Hail Mary. Hail Schwartz. Two seconds remaining until halftime. Good call on that. Was a wide run, so even if he doesn't get it, you know, there's not gonna be much time left. Correct. And uh, there's the announcers. Yeah, Move I thought over here and then he can see me. See that, Chris? Where's yeah. Brian? Hey, there you are. How is it down there? Is it still raining? <laughs> Shake the camera, yes. <laughs> First down and 10. The Hale Schwartz. That's what we're looking for. Brunette wide to the right. Duquette in the slot. Lancer is the tight end on the left side. Sure doesn't look like they're gonna. A good block in up front. Taylor with a lot of time. Wheeling and dealing deep and over the head of everyone and that's halftime. South on top at homecoming 2006, 16 to six over Green Bay Preble.
over America, people are taking the national radon test. Have you? Answer true or false. Radon is a radioactive gas. False. True. It's true? It's a natural gas? The Office of the Surgeon General recommends all homes be tested for radon. Uh, false. False. True. true. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. False. It's true. Oh. I'm totally surprised. I never would have thought of that. I don't even know where to go to have it checked. 1-800-SOS-RADON. If I don't take care of it, nobody else will.
Let's pretend you own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. I pay taxes. I pay rent. I pay health club dues. I make car payments. We all have to pay for what we want. It's fair. Cable companies pay to deliver TV services, but phone companies dig up our streets and use our public property, yet don't want to pay. Congress is considering legislation that would give phone companies control of our public Back at South High School, and there you see uh, Brian Andrews getting a uh, picture of the South High helmet, and there you see the score, South on top 16 to six. Uh, that score really doesn't re isn't reflected in the stats, however. For the half, Preble had only 30 yards, Chris. They had 18 yards rushing and 15 attempts. On the flip side, South had 180 yards, with Ray Smith getting 129 of those in 14 carries and two touchdowns. The only thing that's been lacking in the South attack has been passing. Taylor Schwartz is only one for seven with an interception for four yards. Hendricks uh, kicking off. Hornets uh, get a nice return. It's gonna be out over the 35 yard line. A very nice return by Brian Sluzarek. Again, that little guy is slippery, that number 13. Well, very nice job by the Sheboygan South Band. Great camera work down there by Brian, and uh, very nice halftime thing there. It's homecoming here. Preble, uh, you know, they had Garrett Maidenwall last week, 169 yards against them ships, and South has just locked him up and shut him down, and uh, they're gonna have to have that here in the second half. I don't wanna, s well, I'll let you call the play, and I'll make a comment, Marty. I think they only had 10 players on the field. Uh, Radloff dropped the snap, but uh, did the smart thing, gave it to the running back and let him get hit, Maidenwald. <laughs> Maidenwald was hit right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. I was gonna make a comment. That's why he's the quarterback, he's smart. <laughs> oh yeah, they sent out one, brought two back in, Marty. I was just gonna say, I think this is just a huge, huge possession for uh, the ball game. You're leading 16 to six. Preble gets the first chance here. What you want to do is stop them and get the ball, get your offense back on the field. I think this is a key possession of the ball game. Fake handoff, Radloff going deep over the head of his intended receiver, Danny Teicher, and uh, South is gonna get flagged for pass interference, and you can kind of see it, he grabbed his arm, and I don't think it was necessary. The ball was way over Teicher's head. Yep. I'll tell you what. Here you're gonna see the pass, but again, he got banged and grabbed his elbow his right, but uh, bad penalty there, but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Radloff does not look crisp at all as a quarterback. No, he's uh, definitely off the mark on his passes, and uh, I'll tell you what, he, did have an inter he had an interception also in the first half. And he just doesn't look sharp at all, I mean, boy. Officials are uh, spotting the ball at the South High 49-yard line. First and 10, Preble. Radloff looks the up back. Maidenwall, the deep back, fake to him. Faking, he's gonna get hit and sacked back at about the 41 or 42-yard line. Great rush by South. They didn't go for the fake, they stayed down and uh, Made the sack. Here you're gonna see it, Marty. I don't know what Radloff is thinking here. I mean, he's looking, he doesn't see it. Here's a whole bunch, of, I mean, he has no chance and he just gets buried. Brookins in there. Yeah, Hendrick, uh, Zelko. And then, uh, I think, is it number six maybe? Good. Second down, ball spotted on the 42 yard line. 
He's dropping back, rolling, has a receiver wide open behind the defense and making the catch before he's dropped is Tony Apps. Not good coverage there by South. Nobody uh, kept track of Apps and he was wide open. And that was another horrible pass. Underthrown here, he just kind of wings it up there and he's wide open. I mean, any good coverage would have had that there and a break for Green Bay Preble. Anytime that guy's throwing, I think we're in a good situation. First and 10, ball spotted on the south, takes a timeout. Ball is spotted at the 30, pardon me, 26 yard line and Chris Hine is just beside himself. Wow. You know, he, he rolled out to the right, Chris, and it's like the defense just didn't react to him. You know, right. they didn't go back with the with the receiver as he went deep. You can't have that. Yeah, and we've seen that a couple times this year by a little breakdown in the secondary, and I got that as being a 32-yard hey, completion. Johnny Raff. They had more yards on that one play than they had the entire first half. And a bad pass. Yeah, it was a duck. Quack, 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 quack. It's first down and 10, ball spotted on the 26 yard line. Preble trailing South. South had a great first half. They lead it 16 to six. 10-13 remaining in the third quarter. Radloff has a receiver. His pass was just a little bit behind the intended receiver. He had him open. Well, Noah Webb looked like he had a great opportunity, but uh, the pass off the mark. Yeah, he's just not on target with his receivers right now. And again, any time that he's got a chance to make things happen is a good thing for us. But I'll tell you, there he is. He's wide open. You know, yep. South's uh, pass defense is leaving something to be desired so far in the third quarter. And actually, you, you know, you mentioned it, they've stopped the run. You have to find another way. Fumble, South all over that. Making the recovery was Adonis, Adonis Stewart, number 68. And South has it. Wow. Wow is right. First and 10 south. Ball is going to be spotted right on the 30 yard line. You know, a loss of four. As I said in the first half, this year, Preble since 2000 is 35 and seven in the Valley. If you ain't got the horses to pull the wagon, it doesn't matter how good a coach you are. That's right. And Procknow is a good coach. Yes, he is. Ray Smith, the deep back. Anthony Hoytink, the up back. Fake to Hoytink. Taylor Schwartz keeps it, trying to lean forward. Gets up to about the 33 yard line, not much of a gain. What'd you say Taylor had in the first half on the ground? He had a bunch. He had 44 yards and eight carries. And a lot of faking and things like mm -hmm. that. I think he could take those five yard situations every time. Second down and seven. I'll tell you what, South hasn't been on the uh, this end of the uh, ball field very often. They've been in Preble territory. Yeah, they're spreading it out. Uh, Lancer in motion is going to serve as a blocking back. Smith cuts it back. He's to the outside. He's up to the 45, 40, 50, and then out of bounds near the 45-yard line. And another flag on the field. It looks like it's going to be a holding call. And uh, if we see a replay on that, you know, I think it's going to be on... Uh, well, let's take a look. It's gonna be on Nick Wilson. That's what I was thinking too. He's done a nice job blocking. Cut back. There you see, <laughs> he grabbed the guy. That's why he didn't have any pursuit on the corner. A good call by the officials. Uh, Ori Selaf wanted to make a play, but uh, Wilson literally tied him up. Good cutback by Ray Smith. He probably didn't really need to do that. You know, he's going to get the yardage. Seen that a couple times today. He looks good. Ray Smith looks really good tonight, I'll tell you. He should or could make, make it to 200 yards. That'd be quite an achievement. Ball is spotted on the 27-yard line. 
Second down in a bunch, well 13. Taylor straight back, looking, fires over the middle. Broken up, pass incomplete. Sealaf uh, on the coverage for uh, Preble. Think pass gonna, intended for Wilson, but we got a flag down. I think you're gonna get another hold. Are they gonna call procedure? Yeah, legal motion. Yeah. Penalty again on South. That's gonna remain second down. Let's see if we can find out where the penalty is. Oh yeah. I flinched on the line of scrimmage. Uh, the wide receiver took off just a hair fast. Alden Boer, one of the officials. There you get a good shot at Taylor Schwartz. Trying to get, uh, needs a big play. We have Todd seen this. Yeah, I was just gonna say, Marty, we have seen this over and over. Big play by Smith, brought back by Hold. Now a procedure penalty. You're marching the wrong direction. Setting up second and long types things where bad things can happen. Taylor straight back, firing over the middle, almost intercepted. Tried to get it to a slanting Travis Brunette, but it, uh, the defender cut right in front. I think that was uh, Aaron Wojciechowski and uh, just missed an interception. Well, they faked left, trying to get the defense there, and then, like you said, hit that slant pattern, but uh, Preble was not sold on the fake and stepped right in there, and that's right where that ball could have been picked off. South has to get way up to the 40. Ball is on the 22. It's a third down and 18. Four wide receivers, two left, two right. Taylor straight back, looking, firing over the middle. Lancer got a hand on it, but uh, not able to come up with it, and it falls incomplete, and that'll make it fourth down. Well, looks like uh, Preble is gonna get the ball in pretty good field position, Chris. Yep. Back deep to receive this punt is uh, Christian Larson, number 22. Penalties, penalties, penalties. Yeah. Just one punt so far for South, and that one was muffed by the return person. Hoytink gets the kick away. Larson coming up on it. He makes the catch, he drops the ball again. South has it. Well, if you can't complete a pass, punt it. And we'll get it, we'll get the first down that way. Unbelievable. <laughs> what are we are watching. No kidding. It's not aesthetically beautiful, is it? No. But South is winning, and that's what we want. It's gonna be first and 10 for the Red Wings. You're gonna see that play again. A good blocking up front. Jacobs with a good snap. The kick is away. Oh, right there. Right through the bread basket. Larson says, I want that one back. Smith the deep back. Hoytink the up back. Duquette wide left. Hand off. Smith picks up a couple of yards, not much. Pretty stout defense played by Preble on that play. Second down, gives Smith a gain of two. Clock running, we're at 8.15 remaining in the third quarter. South on top, 16 to six. I'm Mike Martin, my partner is Chris Wright. Chris says he's the better looking of the two and might as well believe him. <laughs> Fake handoff, Taylor rolling run, to the left. Run. He's got room to run. Lancer looking to throw a block, he gets a good one, boom. Down inside the 35. Good play that time. Smart decision by Taylor Schwartz. Thoughts exactly. Keep it in run and that big number 99, the 230 plus pound uh, tight end out there leading the way for you. And he laid out a good block to give uh, a couple more yards to you. See the replay and Lancer out in front. Boom, is right. First and 10 ball on the 32. That was a 15 yard pickup by Schwartz. Offset eye. 
Hand off to Smith up the middle. He barrels forward for about five. Good play. You, know, you mentioned about uh, not always just gaining those big chunks of yardage, but uh, getting the four and five yard gains. He's uh, done that pretty well tonight, Chris. Yes, he has. They got an eight and a six, then that 67 in the first quarter, and a three and a couple of twos. In the second quarter, he had a five, 11, five, a six, a couple more fives, a three for a touchdown. Second down and five. Inside hand off to Hoytink. He's got some room, keeps his balance before he's hit and dropped near the 20 yard line. Anthony Hoytink, nice run. It's gonna be first and 10 for South. Ball on the 21 or 22 yard line. We'll call it the 21, pick up a six yards by Hoytink. We haven't seen that play much this year, that no. inside, of course, we haven't seen a fullback much this year either no. for South. Fake handoff, Taylor keeps it. Uh, not much there. Trouble reacted to the uh, fake handoff. Getting off the top of the pile was Camden Milton, number 54. Second down. Ball is gonna be spotted at the 19, a pickup of two yards. I'll tell you, it's uh, been Christmas in late September with all the turnovers that Preble has had tonight. Try to go over my sheets and see how many fumbles they've had that they've lost. It's gotta be at least three plus the interception. That's four turnovers. Smith running hard, gets it inside the 15. Two muffs, two fumbles, a messed up punt, and an interception. Marty's what Preble's done on their situations. First drive was an interception and they fumbled the ball. Then they mishandled that punt and a couple muffs. So they, they're just been a, just a disaster to, to watch. Third down play, it looks like they'll go for it on fourth down if they didn't get it here, Chris, I would think. Yep. But uh, Smith says, let's get it here, but he's not gonna have it. It's gonna be short by maybe a yard or two. So it's going to be a fourth down play. And uh, you'd have to think South is going to go for it this deep. Well, I think they're debating the field goal or the fourth and one. There's Coach Hine there. I think they might run it down and maybe call timeout. Well, they're waiting. They've already burned one time out this quarter. They're gonna burn another one. Now South calls a timeout. The situation is it's fourth down and one. The ball is on the 11 yard line. I don't see Eisner on the sideline. Oh, there she is. Talking to uh, John Kabai. But uh, call a timeout, get your play called, get the one that's gonna gain you two yards so you don't have to pull out the chain and measure. We'll go from there. Coach Hine is right there with Coach Korf, a little confidence thing. Hit somebody, bang somebody, let's get that first down. Build confidence in that line there. The one thing that I haven't noticed, Chris, and I know they've done this in the past, and. and I haven't noticed it in the other South games that we've called is it's not uncommon for them to go unbalanced line. You know, at least they've done that other years and uh, run to that strong side where you have the extra blocker. And uh, they got some big meat on the hoof there and uh, big Eric Brunig and uh, Tyler Courtright. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad move to run behind those kids. Yep. And uh, I'll tell you what, Ray Smith. Mike Reamer is another one. I don't think Ray Smith has been shut down for less than two yards all night. You're right. So you're expecting a lot from Preble. Well, they got two 
Two in the backfield, Hoytink the up back, Smith the deep back. He might score if he gets through the line though, Marty. Let's watch. We're gonna string it out to the left. He's got the corner and you're right, in for the touchdown. He got the corner on the stretch play and just ran it right into the end zone. Ray Smith, there you see him coming right by your uh, TV screen, number 37, a 12 yard touchdown run. His third touchdown of the night. And South on top comfortably now, 22 to six. There you see it. Oh, good block, and Brunette hit, a, hit somebody on the corner and that just sprung Smith. Good block by Travis Brunette. Eisner, bango baby. <laughs> With 4-12 remaining in the third quarter, South on top, 23 to six. How do you convince a 14-year-old girl that hair doesn't matter? When the diagnosis is childhood cancer, where can parents turn? CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. As soon as we break to a commercial, Chris says, I call that touchdown. <laughs> you certainly did. That was a great call, Chris. Well, I was just thinking that Preble was playing up so far. You know, and if, you know, they're just trying to stop the initial hit there. You know, you, you rub it in at basketball. <laughs> Your team beats my team, and now you got to rub it in here tonight. Good Very, call. Yeah, I was just going to say, they're up so far. I thought if they get through that first line there, he might go, and he did. And there's some happy, happy Red Wing uh, students there. And, Line drive kick by Hendricks, taken by Maidenwall at about the 13. Slips through a couple of tacklers, but a great tackle made on the outside by James Good, I believe that was, or was that number eight, Colin Johnson? Yep, Colin Don Johnson. Johnson but Colin Maiden. Johnson, yep. That might have been a touchdown saver right there, Chris. Well, the Preble offense has been anything but good tonight. Well, they were uh, horrible in the first half. Yeah. They had a little something going in the third quarter till they fumbled it away. Yep, and the only thing that they've, uh, the only time they've scored is on a defensive interception. Actually, you know, they had a minus nine and a minus four on that drive. It was only the 32 yard play that uh, ended up giving them positive yardage. Pass is complete to uh, Noah Webb. I believe, or no, are they going to bring it back? They're saying incomplete. Yeah, he doesn't hit too many. Ben Boxel was open on the deep play, but... Uh, he ran right by the defense again. Yeah. I noticed that. I was surprised he went short. And Radloff was waiting. There's nobody out here on the side. They're getting slow out of the Two huddle. wide receivers hustling out is uh, Reuter. Oh, uh, he hit his man over the middle. Going, going to the end zone is Teicher, and he's in for the touchdown. 70-yard touchdown play. South was slow out of the huddle. Oh, boy. And when they were slow out of the huddle, as soon as they were, you know, just not even ready to be set, Preble snapped it, quick hitch over the middle, and uh, quick strike for Preble. Oh, boy. It looked like they really had things going their way, and all of a sudden it's a, an 11 point lead. They're going to go for a one on this, Chris. 11 point lead, they're going for one. Yep, that's the right thing to do, Marty. Good snap and set. Webb's kick to the uprights is good. And with 350 remaining now, it's South 23, Preble 13. Well, quick strike. A <laughs> quick strike is right. Uh, I have it uh, 22 seconds on the drive. Yeah. Two plays, 22 seconds. Yeah. 
That was uh, Aaron Radloff to uh, Danny Teicher. And uh, he caught that quick little pop over the middle and uh, he outran the defense all the way to the end zone. 70 yards on that play. And uh, that's their second long play, Chris. That interception return we were talking to the stats guys at halftime was 85 yards for uh, Suzuki. Still like that name. JP. Well, he's number uh, 47, JP Suzuki. We check with the uh, treble coaching staff on that pronunciation. Kabai's got it on about the 13. Stutter steps. He's going to try to get it up near the 30, but he's going to step out of bounds at about the 28. But, uh, Kabai on a nice return. It's your backup quarterback, ladies and gentlemen. Put it at the, well, they're going to put it at about the 29. We'll call it the 29. It's going to be first and 10 south. And uh, matriculating down the field, about a 12 play, 72 yard drive would be nice. <laughs> Run off about 10 minutes a clock. Yep. Hand off to Smith. Oh, Ooh. good contain. Yep, uh, excellent contain. Derek Van Boxel was right there. Smith decided to cut it in and not much there. Absolutely nothing. Haven't seen that much. No, sir. Second down and 10. Duquette left wide and Brunette wide to the right. Fake handoff. Taylor keeps it. Battles up the middle. Gets it up to about the 35. He's gonna pick up about six yards on that play. Very makeable first down. Now Preble has to watch the pass or the run. Put in about four. Two minutes and 40 seconds and counting in the third quarter. South on top by 10, 23 to 10. 23 to 13, pardon me. First down here is uh, be real nice. Doesn't matter, they'll muff the punt in. Yeah, maybe we don't want to get a first down. <laughs> Taylor rolling, 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 trying to outrun the defense, can't quite do it. Uh, pretty good defense played out there by uh, Laux and Webb, preventing Taylor from getting the first down. Well, we saw that play on the last series. Worked very successfully this time. Preble did a much, much better job. Had one guy on the back and one guy on the tight end, Lancer. And uh, actually, you know, Chris, I thought that on the last play, uh, Schwartz was a little more decisive in making his decision. Kick is away. Fair catch is made this time. Back there making the catch was Brian Suzerik, their uh, primary kickoff return man. So wow. they made a little bit of a change <laughs> that time. I think so. It's going to be first and 10 treble. We've seen this uh, in all the South games we've done, Chris, and that is they are susceptible to giving up a lot of yardage on one play. Yep. Ball spotted on the 36. First and 10 for the Hornets. Have two wide receivers way wide to the left. Inside handoff to Maidenwald, and he is dropped right at about the 40 yard line. So he picks up about 40 yards. It's his favorite move. The spin he, move. Yeah, I was going to say, he does sense. a lot of spinning. There's a lot of, I think he gets it, dizzy doing it. What is that, uh, Game Boy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they haven't used that one this year. No. Taking away my PlayStation stuff. <laughs> Maidenwald so far in the quarter, Chris, has zero yards and three carries. Fake to the first back, Radloff trying to look for receiver, couldn't find one. Now he's dragging solid tacklers, and he gets up to the, about the 44-yard line, just short of the 45, actually. Good effort 
by Radloff. Radloff dropped back to pass and there was no receiver to throw. I don't know what he was thinking or what receiver he thought was coming over the middle, but he never got there. And by that time, he just decided to run. And I thought South had him bottled up back at the 40, but he did drag a couple of runners down here. And very short situation for Preble, but uh, South's been pretty strong on these situations. Let's get one right here. Third down, uh -oh. Maidenwald going to the wide side, and he's got room to run. He runs right over a South tackler but he is brought down, making the stop was Eric Butson. But a nice strong run by Maidenwald, one of the few times he's actually broken loose from the line of scrimmage. Right, I looked out there and it was like no South kids out there. I was very concerned there for a minute that he might go all the way, but you're right, a good stop there by Butson. Eight yard run, 10 seconds in the quarter, Marty. And running, this will be the last play. Fake handoff. Radloff rolling, firing passes incomplete. Good defense played by Holland Johnson to break it up. And one second remains. I'm wrong again. I think it was not the last play. Yeah, Phil Ristol did that just to spite you. Phil, of yeah. course, does the clock. Gives me a couple from, of Oreos and right away he yeah. thinks he can do anything he wants. Assistance by, oh no, that was Koopman that's been running the clock. Come on, Koopman, get, get it together here, buddy. All right. Same play. Pass to, uh, pass to Teicher. Yeah, supposed to run it. <laughs> Teicher makes the catch. We're just lapping up here at Coop and Marty. That'll be the quarter though, Marty. That is the quarter. With uh, one quarter remaining, South on top, 23 to 13. That was a first down play. Tsunamis, wars, and earthquakes. Stories of disaster that dominate the news. But what happens after the headlines fade? I'm Lou Rawls, and I'm proud to be working with an organization that continues to help people long after the headlines fade. Church World Service helps people rebuild, recover, and put their lives back together. You can provide help and hope to people in need. Please give generously to the Church World Service today. words for you. Pop quiz. Ready? Name any funny movie. A drama. Name a mystery. All right, back to action. It's first and 10 for Preble on the 32. Maidenwall, the first, uh, the second back gets the handoff and he tries to spin through a hoiting tackle and that just won't work. Seen it, done it. Try something new, mister. Anthony Hoytink not fooled at all. No gain by Maidenwald. Hey, there you go, Steve. Just in the booth with us is uh, Fritz Zink getting off the roof. He said it was a little chilly up there. The wind's starting to pick up. Second down and 10. Radloff fumbles the hand snap, but gets it back, fires it down and out. He's got his receiver, and then he drops the ball incomplete. Intended receiver was Noah Webb. Well, he was open, but by the time Radloff got the uh, ball back, good recovery there by Hoytink. I'll tell you what, this game has been, in my opinion, totally dominated by Sheboygan South. And right now, it's a 10-point game, and people are kind of on their seats. You know, kind of on the edge. 11-23 remaining in the ball game, third down and 10. Radloff straight back, looking as a slant pattern. Almost, it is intercepted. Kyle, Kyle Reuter making the interception. Another interception by Radloff, his second of the game. Kyle Reuter on the interception. And a good catch it was. First and 10 for the Red Wings, ball spotted right on the 20 yard line. There you're gonna see it make, makes a nice cut. Actually, you know, you've been saying this all night, that was a terrible pass. Yep, he just- It was actually a bad decision to begin with and a bad pass followed it. And yep. uh, 
All righty, wide receivers left and right. Hand off to Smith up the middle. Barrels out to about the 24 yard line. Nice little play there, I like that. You send the receiver you know, down the sideline and then you run to that, that corner where he's evacuating there, trying to, you know, maybe the shift of the Preble guys there will go, but uh, another nice little gainer, four or five yards. Keeps the clock running too. Second down and six, a four yard pickup. Uh, Wilson is on the field. We haven't seen Nick in a few weeks. He had a bad injury. He's gonna be wide to the left. And again, they're spreading the field with four wide receivers and Lancer in motion. Hand off to Smith, tries to pop it to the outside. Good pursuit by Preble. And uh, they knock him out of bounds. I think he's gonna lose the yard. A little extra effort or extra action at the end of the play. Making a block out here along the sideline was Tyler Courtright. And he's picking on somebody that was not his size. <laughs> that little number 23 didn't like that. I don't think there's too many people his size, but uh, you know, I give Ray Smith some credit there. He tried and tried to get some yardage there, but uh, not a lot there. Good decision though, I like it keeping it on the ground. Bad thing is he went out of bounds. Third down and six, no gain on that play. Brunette and Duquette, wide receivers. Fake handoff, Taylor looking over the middle. Brunette making a leaping attempt, but can't come up with it. Just a little too high, and it's gonna be fourth down. A brunette just a little too short. That too. 5'11", if he was 6'1", I think he would have had that. Good effort there by Travis. South's gonna punt it away though. Uh, Chris Wright made that comment about your son being too short. This is Brunette, so give him a call. <laughs> well, I just say if he was 6'1", he would have caught it. White Tank uh, punts it away and uh, doesn't get much of a bounce. Holy cow. That ball is going to be down at about the 38-yard line. Yikes, a 14-yarder. We gotta say a big hola to Dave Flynn. He's uh, at home watching the ball game or getting set to, I'm sure. 39 yard line, 15 yard punt. He's probably getting corn curls out or something like Cheetos or something yeah, tonight really with his uh, root Put the beer. kids to bed and then haul out the snacks. Oh, nice bullet pass. That one was right on the money, Chris. And making the catch was Teicher. He's a weapon. He is, they like to go to him. He, when he gets involved, he's, he's been about the only offense tonight that's been pretty steady for Preble. The 14 yard pickup on that play. I would keep my eyeballs on him all the time. First and 10, ball on the 25 yard line. Radloff looking, now he drops back, throws it to his uh, safety valve. Maidenwald, but uh, that pass goes incomplete. Good pressure by Lancer. He had a little bit of time and then it broke down and uh, good pressure by South. 10.02 remaining. Garrett Maidenwald, number 27, the deep back in this formation. Hand it off to the third back, and uh, making a nice strong run was Chris Lauks, number 23. Good blocking downfield by Roberto Sanchez for uh, Preble, kicking out the uh, Red Wing player there and freeing up for that first down. As I said, it's getting a little bit nervous around here. They do lead by 10 south, that is, but I'll tell you what, the game, I thought that South would just dominate. Preble just keeps hanging around. First and 10 on the 14. Yes. Radloff rolling right. It's wide to open. the end zone. Off the mark, incomplete. I didn't catch the number of that intended receiver. I think it was uh, Apps maybe out there. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> he was wide open. 
you know, if he came towards the post, but he kind of threw it towards the flag, and that there was nobody standing over there. I think this is going to be four down territory. They're going to have to stop him for four downs, Chris. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if their kicker can kick from this far. Coach Proc now is going to call timeout. That's the first timeout by Preble with 9.34 remaining. It's 23 to 13 south. We'll be right back. Is she thirsty or diabetic? Is he tired or arthritic? Subtle behavioral changes can be early signs of disease in pets. These changes are often less obvious in cats, which can be better than dogs at hiding illness. But a wellness exam from your veterinarian twice a year can help detect, treat, or prevent many health problems before they become serious. So call your veterinarian and schedule your pet's wellness exam today. Back at South High School, there you see South on top, 23 to 13. It's uh, been a very interesting game. A lot of turnovers. I think a whole lot more than we expected when we, when, you know, when you mentioned it in the opening, Chris. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it got a little more, a lot more. I mean, we knew it might play a little bit of a part, but again, uh, it's been quite an adventure. Radloff's pass to the outside. Boy, he threw it in a lot of traffic, and it was tipped and intercepted. Making the catch for South was Colin Johnson, number eight. And again, uh, Aaron Radloff uh, not making a good decision, Chris. There's like five or six guys standing there. I don't and know why he's throwing that and ball. And there's only there. one white jersey. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be picked off, and all of a sudden it bounced away, and I, fortunately uh, Johnson got it. But I was thinking to myself, there's... If this doesn't get picked off, uh, there you South see is it. not going to have the break. Well, they've done this time and again. The ball is first and 10 South on the five. They had a long ways to go. Inside handoff. No, Taylor fakes the handoff and keeps it. He's right up the middle. He's got some room to run. Gets it out over the 20-yard line. Taylor Schwartz with a quick burst right up the middle off a fake to uh, the fullback. And he gets a first down. Well, Preble's had seven turnovers now. There's big Andy Lancer earning his. That was a 19-yard pickup. Dinner tonight, doing a good job. Ball on the 24. That gets you out of that tough, tough situation inside your 10. Give you a little breathing room here. Another fake to the fullback. Taylor going to the outside. He's got room to run. He's got an open field. He can outrun that last defender, and he catches him at the 30-yard line. Another big run by Taylor Schwartz. Well, that play has worked a lot tonight. The sell of the back up the middle and just the keeper by Schwartz, and uh, Prebles had no answer for that. Just like that. 46-yard run. Yeah, and just like that, they're inside of Preble territory. Here you're going to see a nice kick-out block there. Oh, I wish I could have saw that number, but a good job. Let's punch this one in and uh, not put it on ice, but yeah. uh, you can get it out of the refrigerator and decide what kind of ice cubes you want tonight. 65 yards and two carries in this quarter for Taylor Schwartz. Inside handoff, another fake handoff. He pulls it out of the fullback's belly and runs down inside the 25-yard line. He must have had it in there pretty far, Chris, because he almost fumbled it pulling it out. We'll call it the 25-yard line, a pickup of five on that keeper. Here comes Lancer back into the game. I've gotten enough rest, Coach. Put me in. Yeah, let's use him for a blocking back. He's uh, going out as a slot to the left. He likes to go in motion from that position. And there he goes. Here comes Ray. Option play Ray, cutting it back. And leans forward to about the 20. It's going to be close to a first down. I think he might be just a little bit short. I think you're right, Marty. The official stops the clock. Now he's going to wind it because he knows he does not have a first down. So Smith runs for four. 
and it's going to be a fourth, third and one, actually third and less than one. Smith, the lone, set, lone setback, or is that... Uh, you can go sneak, there's nobody in the middle. Fake to Hoytink, that was Hoytink in the backfield, and Taylor keeps it and runs for the first down. I can't believe on a such a short play that Preble doesn't have anybody over the center there. If I was a quarterback, I would have just followed my center right forward. Spotting it on the 19th, so that's gonna be a pickup of two. Tick, tick, yeah, tick, you're right, tick. Rolling down to seven minutes remaining in the ball game. South up 10 points. I think I've looked at the clock like five times in the last uh, minute here. Hoytink the up back. Ray Smith is the deep back. We have wide receivers left and right, Brunette and Duquette. Schwartz under center, hands it to Smith. Good blocking at the point of attack and Smith barrels down inside the 15. Valdez throwing a key block. And a nice little chunky yardage for Smith, five yards for him. He's doing exactly what you wanted him to do, Chris. Now stop complaining. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> we won't be back at South. Well, we'll be at the North-South game. That'll be played at North, so we will see South one more time. One and more time. With a little luck, maybe we can do a playoff game. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. <laughs> now, if, if North wins talk. out, do they go to the playoffs? Yep. Got to get four wins in the conference. Four and three will get you in. Rolling. Taylor faking, faking. Now he pumps to his receiver. Lancer, get me into the end zone. Touchdown. That's why you like to get the ball to him. Yes, I do. He's a very difficult target to knock down. Good job, Andy Lancer. Good pass. Great drive. Starting inside your own 10-yard line. March right down the field. There you see the pass. Good football teams take advantage of opportunities that are created for them. Green Bay Pebbles giving you a lot of opportunities tonight. And with that, you have 29 points on the board. Make it a 30 here with an extra point. Good job by South so far tonight. Kabai with the hold, Eisner with the boot. Nope. And wide left, but with 5.52 remaining, South comfortably on top, 29 to 13. feeling inside keeping you from going outside if chronic diarrhea severe abdominal pain or rectal bleeding are tying you to the bathroom maybe it's serious like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis see a gastroenterologist early diagnosis can make treatment easier get on with your life get help get better the Crohn's and colitis foundation of America dignity hope and one day a cure contact us for a free information kit <laughs> Back at South High, and there you see South on top, 29 to 13. A nice drive. Uh, Taylor Schwartz doing most of the damage, Chris. Very impressive. Drive is right on the ground, and then this nice little pass there to Lancer. Kick is over to uh, Maidenwald, and he picks it up at about the 17. And uh, South all over him. Gets it up near the 30, but he's going to be just shy of the 30-yard line, but it'll be first and 10 for Preble. Ball on the 29-yard line. Noah Webb is wide to the left. Maidenwall, the deep back. Radloff at quarterback. Dropping back, fires over the middle. He's got his receiver, Teicher. And he makes another catch, Chris. What a tackle there by Good, though. I was thinking that pass was a little bit behind him again. Pick up a four yards. If you were in fantasy football, you would not pick up Radloff. No, he, <laughs> here you'll see it. And oof. Good just coming through just because he was behind there. Knocked him down. Pick up a five on that play. 
Radloff back, looking, looking. Good rush by South, but the pass is complete. Who else? Number Yep. Again, on the reception. He's gonna be short of the first down. Pick up of four yards on that play. Purple's gotta have a lot of hop up to that line of scrimmage. The clock is against them at 447. They gotta efficiently work themselves down the field. Maidenwall not gonna get it. They chopped, dropped him at the 39 yard line. That's gonna be a no gain. There you see Steve Bakhti, he's the one that made that play because he contained, brought the runner back into the middle, back to the host of Red Wing players there, and then you delivered the tackle. This is basically it for uh, Green Bay Preble right here, fourth and about all oh, two or three inches. Bakhti asking the student section to, uh, how about a little cheering? Your Red Wings have played very well tonight. Radloff firing over the middle, incomplete. Oh boy. Well, maybe coach is thinking we need the quick score and uh, this was their opportunity. I was worried when I saw that pass. <laughs> Didn't but work out that way. It's Salt is gonna take over on downs with uh, 358 remaining. You know, and actually, Chris, you know, that might, I know it's incomplete pass, South gets in good field position, but if you score on that, yeah, I mean, you're right there. Yeah, very bold call is right, but uh, fortunately, Redloff stayed on target. He was off, off on that one. Fake handoff, we got flag flies right in the middle of the line. That's gonna be a penalty on, uh, you would think on South, the blocking infraction. Last to get up was big number 78, Tyler Courtright. An illegal procedure on the Red Wings. They'll push it back five yards. They've uh, had their share of penalties tonight, Chris, but uh, all those turnovers by Preble have uh, kind of negated that. Yep, still a few too many. Oh, for sure. But uh, for seven sure. turnovers by Green Bay Preble. Now, you know what? They started the ball is on the 39. Illegal procedure should push it five yards back, right? To the 44. That ball is spotted on the 43. <laughs> that doggone official can't count. Jeez, I'm messing up my score sheet too. Quick out to Duquette, he makes a nice catch. But uh, the defense right there to stop him. Safe pass. Gonna yep. throw the ball there. You want to throw it something relatively safe. I think I was a little bit fearful as that old behind the behind him again there. But yeah, uh, the backward pass, and if you drop it, you know, and all yeah. of a sudden it's a fumble, not an incompletion. Well, the clock stopped for a reason here. I think he got pushed out of bounds. Yeah, I think he did. 3:34. Just just willing that clock to go down just seems the first half went really fast but now it seems to be taking forever maybe it's still going fast but we just want it to go quicker than it is can't wait to go out uh <laughs> coach brock now is what's he yelling about i think that's what he's making a he might be doing your yardage thing marty that's what i'm thinking well i noticed it right away yeah, I you think there's Coach Proc now right there. He says, how can it be third and 14 when you had a five yard? Oh, well, maybe it was the out of bouncing. Well, Brunette and Duquette are gonna be wide to the right. That official coming over to talk to Chris Hine and explain the situation. Three forty-four. It's the Phil and Dan show right below us. You know, they said we should come down and run the clock. They'd come up and do the announcing. Maybe we ought to take them up on that. I got to do the time clock tomorrow. At yeah, yeah you've got experience game. on that. I mean, you could do freshman that. Freshman game. Shoot, I bet they don't have those kind of complaints during those freshman games. Oh, yeah, they do. 
<laughs> in other words, you don't know what you're doing? <laughs> well, I got uh, Larry Cameron's always in charge. And What do you mean by in charge? Well, officiating or? Officiating. Or and does he go up there and show you which button to press? <laughs> <laughs> no, but if I'm not pressing the clock going down and down, he's. <laughs> I got things to do. <laughs> we're not paid. We're not paid by the hour. Ray Smith on the carry spins down to the 40 yard line. Tom Retzak, he's always got to get out to Lakeland College or something. Those guys always got things to do and people to see. That's right. And uh, it's going to be ball is spotted on about the 40. Third down, clock is running. There's uh, 308, 307, 306. South said no hurry. No hurry at all. It's uh, 29 to 13. They have a nice lead. Lancer goes in motion. Schwartz rolling, firing short of his intended receiver. Duquette, and it goes incomplete. And that stops the clock. Hard to roll left, you know, and throw back. And, uh, you know, especially when your receiver is running away from you. you wow, well, I thought you get a little you more mustard on it than maybe that. Maybe you run the ball there. You run another 30 seconds off. White Tank back. Should pin Preble back punt. here. His kick is away. And gets a nice bounce. It goes out of bounds. Maybe Near the 15-yard line, I believe. How about they put it on the 12? 12, 12, 12. Oh. What? It, 12. <laughs> you happy now? <laughs> I am now. <laughs> I'm like, where's he going? You, you had to see where the ball rolled out. You didn't have to put your arm up like it was flying. It was you know what? Ground. He wanted to be on TV. He wanted to be on TV, so he did that. But Brian was smarter than that. He says, no way. I'm not getting you on TV, buddy. Ball spotted on 12. First down and 10 for Preble. 247 remaining. Maidenwald, I believe that was, on the carry, and he's not going to get much. That play's just not worked. South's been all over that tonight. I checked that. It was Lauchs on the carry. Tick. Tick, 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 tick. Coach Hines, like me, watching the clock. Todd Tudis and Jamie Berlin behind him, assistant coaches. Radloff dropping back, looking over the middle. He's got his man, Teicher, and then he drops the ball. He had it. Looked like he took a stride or two, and then it just slipped right out of his hands. That was a pretty good pass, Chris. He had to pretty much on the money. He's thrown nine passes here in the fourth quarter. I don't think uh, Coach Prokno necessarily wants that much throwing in his offense. Actually, you know what that was? That was a great hit Yep. in there by uh, Eric Butson to cause that incompletion. Third down and 10. South Burns their last time out, Marty. And uh, Chris Hine going into the huddle. Next week, uh, TV8 will be at uh, Sheboygan North when they play Green Bay West in their homecoming game. And then uh, rounding out the TV8 schedule, we're going to be uh, at Luther and Kohler on October 13th when they host Cedar Grove. Now, Cedar Grove's had a pretty good season so far. Very That's going to be a tough game for them. And then we're back here at South High on October 19th. That's a Thursday when they play Sheboygan North. And it's a doubleheader weekend for the TV8 crew on uh, Saturday, October 21st. We're at Lakeland College when they uh, host Concordia of Wisconsin. Not to be confused with Concordia of Missouri, and Nebraska, and Michigan, Illinois. And Illinois. It's Concordia, Wisconsin. Third down. Radloff back, looking, firing deep. He's got Teicher out there, but it's way overthrown. Incomplete. Hey, he may not be accurate, but he's got a good arm. Good coverage by South downfield. Reuter right there. Good right there. Johnson right there. Here you see the 
Aaron Radloff is three for 10 in the quarter, Chris. Yep. See everybody coming back to the huddle. <laughs> and this. Another goal. <laughs> <laughs> and fourth down here. They're going to punt. Be ready for the fake. No one is back for South. Good job. Cover the edges. Don't let them go to the wide side. Punt is away by Webb. Oh, he gets a great punt. Ball bouncing down inside the 30. All the way down to the 25 yard line. Great punt. Woo. Figure that one out. 38 plus 25. 60. 63. 63. Gosh. Now, isn't Preble noted for having, you know, really good kickers, you know, going to the NFL and playing in a Big Ten and all that, Stemke and yep. those guys? We'll call it the 26-yard line. You get a good shot of the booth. We're the two good-looking guys up near the top. Duquette and Brunette, the wide receivers. Offset eye. Hang Smith on to the, the ball. deep back. He takes it, tries to cut it back off tackle, not much there. Maybe he gets a yard or so. I think Smith had about 175, 180 yards, huh, before uh, pretty close to 200. Which would be pretty sweet on homecoming. Yeah, really. Girlfriend will like that. There's, uh, I think, John Lindsay there. Maybe some of the alumni. Get my sheets together. South's so gonna get their me. first uh, home win this year as well. As I said, their schedule is still very favorable to make a push. Fake handoff, Taylor Schwartz keeps it. Pretty good coverage by, and it drops the ball. It's on the carpet, but no, they're calling him down. Bit of a break for South. Taylor will keep it. Got it out to the 28 yard line, so he picks up a yard on that play, but uh, really pretty good defense played by uh, Preble. Boom. Oh, I think it was out before. <laughs> oh, we got a break there, ladies and germs. Yep. South ends up with, uh, they got to go to Southwest, and then they have East here. That'll be a tough game. And then they got to beat uh, North and uh, they're in their uh, victory. Victory play and Schwartz takes a knee. And we got 15, 14, clock running down. That should be the last play of the ball game. South is going to go to two and two in conference. And that's two wins in a row. Final score, Sheboygan South 29, Preble 13. South getting a win. At homecoming 2006, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, Chris Wright hopefully will have some interviews down on the track and I'll have some final stats and uh, we'll wrap up this win for Sheboygan South. This is my opinion. This is my voice. This is my voice. Building strong communities demands citizen participation and citizen voices. Support your city and county to protect your interests in local franchises with cable and phone companies. Build your community. Raise your voice. This is my voice. Don't take it away.
If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Congratulations on the promotion. I hope you're saving the extra money. You gotta put it in stocks. If you want to get ahead. No, no, bonds. And oh, CDs. Way to go. Oh, it's it's fun. Fun. No, no, you uh, Stick it better. under the mattress. <laughs> You Getting plenty of advice, but not enough facts? Visit saveandinvest.org. No confusing advice, no sales pitch. Just unbiased information and tools to help you manage your money with confidence. Saveandinvest.org. Welcome back here with a happy uh, couple Red Wings here. Uh, we'll start with uh, Tony Hoytink. Uh, Coach Hine at the beginning of the year said every week the defense is going to have to make some strides, and I think, you know, you guys are starting to kind of pick it up, huh? Yeah, um, beginning of the year, we have we have the physical part there, but beginning of the year we didn't have the mental part. So now we're finally focusing a little more, and now we're making the big plays when we need to. Yeah, I, I see a lot more swarming of tacklers, and, I mean, you really shut down the run tonight. I think in the first half they only had, like, 18 yards or something like that. You really, really focused in on that run. Yeah, we, like I said, we had the physical part. We got to focus, and when we know what's going on and we fly around, it's th good things happen. I think uh, you and Steve, two linebackers, I think you guys are all conference. That'll come up later, but uh, you and Steve Bakhti just, you know, were a lot of havoc out there, and I think Steve had one of his best games tonight, and, of course, you're always in there. Yeah, Steve had a really good game that I realized he got to, to me got to the tackle before I did. So I was like, oh, man, he's having a great game. I better start catching up. But I had the interception just stuck to my hands like, sweet. <laughs> yeah, I took off and things like that. And, uh, you're probably thinking for the end zone. But speaking of uh, thinking about the end zone, get a chance to run the ball the last couple of, uh, weeks. I know at first you, they didn't really have a full back in there, but now you're getting a couple opportunities to run the ball, and you're taking advantage of that. Yeah, my primary focus is leading away for Ray, which I'm fine with. But once I get the ball, I'm going to make the most of it. So watch out. I'm going to try to run you over. I thought you had a couple nice blocks for this guy over here too tonight, but uh, good luck uh, Anthony and, and on the rest of the season and take it one week at a time. I hope to make a little run here. Oh, you, Taylor, uh, no. Taylor, much uh, better job. You get to run the ball a little bit now. Yeah, we're switching up our offense a little bit. We're going into, I don't know, like letting us players like try and make plays if we can because our whole line is doing a great job blocking for us and our coach, Coach Korf has said all week, like last week too, he's got to carry us like our line. They're all, that's what we follow. And I did a great job. You, you took my thunder away. I was just going to say, it looked like the offensive line was creating a lot more holes for you. I think Ray got close to 200 yards, and I know you were close to 100 yards, but you're right. When the offensive line and the, the meat up there is, is pushing the guys around, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, big time. Like, when we're on midline, holes are huge. It makes it a lot easier to run. First downs all the time, then. I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, Nick Wilson's back now, so you got, you know, Duquette's got a bunch of catches. Uh, Matt Mertz has got some catches. You know, Nick Wilson back, you got your receivers back. That's got to be kind of nice. Yeah, we didn't hook up too much tonight, but it didn't matter since we had a run game going on. But hopefully next week we'll step it up, and having Nick back is a big help. All our guys are seeming to be healthy now. That's a good thing. It's always nice to have number 99 out there, too. You had a nice yeah. little touchdown there, and yeah. I think you dragged about six guys into the end zone. Yeah, yeah he's a beast. <laughs> uh, having that target when he's like, what, six, he looks like he's 6'9 out there. It's a nice thing to look at. Well, I heard some about your 2-0. Oh. I know you guys didn't get off to a good start, but I guess, you know, one week at a time, I know it's a, you know, silly cliche, but I guess that's kind of how you got to look at it. One week at a time, 2-0 oh right now, you're trying to make a push for the playoffs. Yeah, we only have, what, three more games to get in? And uh, right now, I think we can do it. We're executing when we need to, basically, and our defense is stepping up huge in this game. And I think keep it up, and we should be going far. Well, congratulations, Taylor. Best of luck next week and the next couple weeks. I hope we make a run to the playoffs, and we'll see you at, at North in a couple weeks. Right. At that at that time, we'll uh, or at this time, we'll send it up to Marty. Great job on the interviews, Chris. So, some interesting statistics on this ball game. In the first half, Ray Smith had 129 yards. He finished the night with 167 yards in 25 carries, and he had three touchdown runs. Uh, in the second half for uh, South, the big rusher was uh, Taylor Schwartz. He had 99 yards in 11 carries. The big one was a 47-yarder that he had in the third quarter. For the game, Sheboygan South finished with 323 yards rushing, uh, 341 total. Uh, Taylor had his troubles uh, hitting on only three of 13 passes for 18 yards. Uh, Preble found their uh, stride a little bit in the second half offensively. They had 139 yards passing. 
Uh, only 14 rushing. They finished the night with only 32 yards rushing. South's defense uh, really bottled up the running game. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, Garrett Maidenwald. He had a big week last week. He did uh, not much tonight. He had 15 carries and only 36 yards. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for our ball game. There you see the final score was uh, Sheboygan South 29, Green Bay Preble 13. Our next ball game will be next Friday when uh, Sheboygan North hosts Green Bay West in their homecoming ball game. For the crew, we had uh, Fritz Zank and Steve Reiner on the top camera. Brian Andrews bringing you that picture right there. Scott Miloff in the truck spinning the dials. For Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.